Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is something fairly simple, uh, but it's one of the most common questions that I get on the YouTube channel. And I wanted to do my best to try and explain and show you guys how exactly I did this. And uh, basically it is how to add the picture style, cine style to your EOS M or any Canon camera in general. Basically, it's a picture profile that you lay on your camera in order for it to have a very flat color. This allows you to be able to color grade it uh, a lot better in post. You're able to pull out a lot more colors and uh, get more detail in your footage by doing so. Just about any Canon DSLR or mirrorless camera uh, in the past four to five years has this ability to set the picture profile. The picture profile itself actually allows you to adjust the sharpness, the contrast, the saturation, and the color tone. This is key for you to be able to set your certain profiles for certain situations so that you can shoot in different environments. Now, I will show you guys how to color grade this later, but for today, I just wanted to show you guys how exactly you add it onto your camera itself. It's fairly simple, but it's a very powerful tool for you to be able to color correct in post-production. By the way, I'm shooting this on the Canon T6i. I don't know exactly how the quality is looking, and I've got it pretty much sitting on a shelf. Hopefully it's good, and the audio quality is better. Okay, so the most basic thing you have to do uh, is open up your Google Chrome browser or any other browser in general. All you have to do is do a quick search for Technicolor, T-E-C-H, -E Nicolor, CineStyle, and it's the first thing that pops up. Once you got that open, go ahead and click the CineStyle download uh, dash Technicolor link. And then you'll basically have to fill out all this information um, to download the picture profile. Um, I will go ahead and fill this out and whenever you fill this out you don't actually get a download link uh, from when you fill this out it's actually sent to you in your email so I'm gonna fill this out and then we'll get the email for us to be able to download this okay so we filled out all the email information it basically says please check your emails and your junk email boxes make sure that you authorize the address no reply at email.technicolor.com. If you don't receive an email from us, please try to fill this form out again with a different browser or your phone. So we're gonna go to our email and find the link that it's been sent to us. Okay, so we have the email in our email now. We're gonna click that. And then it says, thank you for your interest. Your request to down, <laughs> thank you for your interest. Your request download is available here. We'll click the link and this will automatically direct us to a simple download. The download simply downloads as a zip file. Once you open up the zip file, we're gonna go ahead and minimize this guy out. You have the Technicolor CineStyle V10 1.0 profile. I'll go ahead and copy that to the desktop. I don't have a Mac, so I'm not able to show you guys how to do this on Mac, but I'm sure it's fairly similar to what the current process is. All right, we're gonna open that folder that we dragged to the desktop. And inside, it actually contains the PF2, which is the uh, profile file, the, the profile st style. Uh, and then we also have a CineStyle LUT pack, which is actually fairly new. You didn't have this before, but it's pretty cool. It actually comes in this. And this is the LUT that you'll use whenever you're, you're uh, editing and you're doing your color correction. Highly recommend that you use this. I use this all the time and it works amazing. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and open that little zip up and copy that to the desktop as well in a separate folder just so we know which one's which and where. Okay, so we have those available. All we have to do now is connect our EOS utility uh, to our camera. The biggest thing you have to figure out is what EOS utility you use because certain models use different models. Uh, I would highly recommend that you search up your product uh, on the Canon website and look for the drivers for that. And then you would either download the EOS utility or download the CD that comes with your camera. You will have to enter, however, the serial number uh, for your camera, mine is located right here, uh, on the website itself to be able to download it. So let's do that right now. So we're gonna go to Canon's uh, EOS Utility, I'm just gonna Google that. And then the first thing that pops up is the EOS Utility, Canon USA. This gives us the option to select the particular model that we use. I myself use the Canon EOS M50, so we're gonna go ahead and download that. Once we go there, it takes us automatically to the download link. 
and the first or I'm sorry the last link that's there is the EOS Utility 3.8.20 there may be some different variations and versions as far as the capabilities uh, but the overall way in which you add the picture profile style is fairly similar so it may look a little bit different as far as graphic user interface is concerned but it's very similar to what I'm doing here all right, so we're gonna go ahead and download that. I already have it downloaded. Um, it's a very basic install. Let's go ahead and download it and show you guys what the install looks like just for educational sake. Okay, the download's downloaded. We're gonna open it up. Copy that download to the desktop. Gonna install it. US Canada, next. English, okay. Now it does have bloatware, uh, like these extra add-on sometimes um, you can add this if you like it's totally up to you but uh, I'm gonna get, let, go ahead and let it install everything just in case I don't miss anything uh, we're gonna install the web service registration tool the US lens registration tool utility 2 and utility 3 I think it has to install 2 before it installs 3 because I have the newer version of camera which is the EOS N50 so we'll go ahead and install it now yes next no, I'll register later. Finish. Okay, now all we have to do is connect our camera. Go ahead and connect your camera to your computer. Turn it on. Now if it doesn't automatically pop up like this, definitely uh, just manually open it up yourself and that should work. Once you do that, you go to camera settings. Uh, I think in EOS 2 utility, uh, the setting is accessories. Um, go to your camera settings and you wanna look for register picture style file and that is the pf2 file that we downloaded earlier we're going to click that now i already have a few set up that i can choose from i'm going to go ahead and select the one that we downloaded earlier i'm going to click that little folder go to the desktop and then find our way to the technicolor style and is we're going to select the pf2 file once we do that click ok and now it's automatically loaded onto your camera. All right guys, so now that we have our installation uh, pretty much installed, the picture style is installed and everything, we're gonna go to our menu. Um, every camera is not gonna be exactly the same, uh, but I did wanna show you guys how exactly it looks. I'm gonna go to this part right here, scroll over to the right until we see the picture style selection. And then once you select that, you'll be able to scroll through all the different settings that you have available. And you'll see that it says CineStyle right there. We're going to go ahead and select that. And once we do that, our picture should be a lot more like the CineStyle profile. And then you should be all set. Well, guys, that's it. It's very simple, but it's a very useful tool for you to be able to do some post-production color correction. Even if you're not really going to be using it that much, it's definitely a good way for you guys to practice and learn how to do color correction. And I highly recommend uh, downloading and installing that picture profile style if you ever should need it. You always have the original presets available, but this is a good one to use. And I think, in my opinion, it's one of the best ones I've found uh, for this camera and it just makes the colors brighter more vibrant and more saturated and i think there's a lot more you can do with those files uh that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys uh, enjoyed this video and i hope you guys uh, learned something from it i hope um, you guys are able to figure this out i know there are different variations of the eos utility and camera so you may have a little bit of figuring out to do on getting the exact settings but that is pretty much the gist of it that's how you download it the eos utility load it to your camera set the camera to that picture style and you're good to go thank you so much guys i'll see you guys in the next video peace